Hello and welcome to the Red Napkin. I'm Brian DiCiano. Now continuing on with the classic cocktails that I've said in uh, one of the pre previous videos that I did. Uh, I said I'm going to be doing a, a run of videos of some uh, classic cocktails. Um, this one is the Sidecar. One of the greatest cognac based and basically mo most famous of all the you know cognac based drinks pretty much. Uh, was invented in around the 20s, uh, probably you know between 1920 and 1930 during Prohibition in uh, Harry's New York Bar in Paris. Um, there's a, a cool little video on, uh, on YouTube uh, put out by Quantro and uh, they, uh, they put out a few videos, one you know, about the Cosmopolitan, about the Margarita, about um, the Sidecar, and was there another one? Anyways, and uh, it's basically telling the story about how the drink was created, and, you know, they put this, you know, kind of interesting story behind it, and anyways, you know, it was said, or maybe I'll just, I'll add the link, I'll add the link onto the, on, on my page here. And uh, you can watch it. It's a it's a pretty cool pretty cool video. So, anyways, the drink started you know during prohibition. Basically, what happened is uh, back during uh, prohibition when we couldn't drink, you know the United States completely went dry, or so we so it was said. Um, all the bartenders who were you know considered actual it was like a reputable profession to be a bartender back then. They you know lost their jobs basically and so they all pretty much went to you know Paris um, they went to South America uh, they went to the Caribbean a lot of them went to the Caribbean and uh, Harry's New York bar in Paris was one of the places that you know a lot of drinks kind of it was said you know were invented there and then they later came back to the States the uh, Bloody Mary I believe was also invented there and, uh, what else? Yeah, so it's a, it's a really nice cognac-based drink. You can make it with uh, standard brandy, American brandy. But uh, I really like the uh, kind of woody, dry spice, um, specific flavor of cognac. Uh, it's, it's a bit different than your standard American brandies. Today I'm using... Conjure cognac or conjure, conjure. Uh, anyways, this is kind of funny. Uh, this cognac is uh, basically Chris. It's Chris, yes, Chris Bridges. I don't. I didn't really know who he was at the time I bought this. And then I went to the website and I saw that it's ludicrous. Chris Brid Chris Bridges is ludicrous, and uh, I got to be honest. That's not exactly the style of music I listen to. So I didn't really, you know, make the connection until I went went to the website and actually saw who he was. And I'm like, oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, but <clears throat> it's actually a really, really decent cognac. And it's not expensive. It's really, really priced very well. And it's kind of funny, the, uh, the bottle, it's a really pretty bottle. Very nice presentation with this. It, I think they did a really good job. It's kind of funny though, the uh, kind of embroidering on the bottle here, probably can't really see it, but um, from far away it just kind of looks like some kind of, you know, family crest that's been, you know, stamped around the bottle. But if you look closely, they're actually naked ladies in little poses and, and just formed in such a way that it kind of looks like a crest or something. But, uh, and then of course... Cointreau, uh, the finest orange liqueur, original triple sec, and a sour element, fresh lemon. So, I've used, you know, over the uh, over the past few years, I've been experimenting on and off with the uh, with the with the sidecar, you know, trying variations of uh, recipes and proportions. I've seen. Proportions is 
crazy is like eight parts of brandy to like two parts of Cointreau and a half part of um, fresh lemon juice or just some weird stuff that for me would be super sour or just way too strong. And uh, I find that a nice recipe is uh, one and a half parts of the cognac to one part Cointreau to three quarter parts of the fresh lemon juice and then a half part of sugar syrup. Now another thing with the sidecar is that it was it has been served. I don't know if it was originally served with the sugar rim, but it has been served with a sugar rim for you know a long time. You know, you go to an, into a bar that's pretty much standardly gonna come with a sugar rim. I don't really like stuff on the rim of my glasses, whether it be salt on a margarita or sugar on you know anything else uh, I would prefer it to all be you know in the drink and just have every all those flavors in the drink harmonizing together you know not have these like kind of separate uh, separate elements that are supposed to blend when you're drinking them and you know it, it's just kind of I just don't, don't really does the idea just doesn't appeal to me so I'll get started making the drink here in a uh, pint glass, I'm going to start. A couple uh, large ice cubes. And the three quarter ounce of fresh lemon juice. And my half part of sugar syrup. I'm using raw sugar syrup. I've stated before that I do like using raw sugar syrup in my drinks because you get a little more of that molasses-y, sugar cane -y kind of flavor and uh, it just, you know, instead of using like a dark sugar or like a dark brown sugar syrup which can kind of overpower the other flavors, it's a little bit too intense a raw sugar, raw sugar syrup is uh, really just, it has flavor but it's mellow and it's just, it's nice I, I recommend you use a raw sugar syrup for this, especially because it's based on cognac which is aged in wood and you're gonna have a little more harmonizing of those types of flavors. Next, the Cointreau and this adding one ounce and then here with the conjure cognac. <laughs> I like to use the kind of like French pronunciation of it. It sounds a little more sophisticated, you know. Ounce and a half. Add a little more ice on there. I just got this uh, ice cube tray that has these really large makes these really large ice cubes that I'm uh, really liking at the moment. They won't dilute the drink so much as like using a, a smaller cube type ice. So all this needs is a really good vigorous shake and then it'll be fine strained into my cocktail glass. Although with the, uh, the larger ice cubes you do need to shake a little bit more because that dilution and the chill doesn't quite happen as fast. So, uh, my refrigerator is not currently here, so all I've done is simply filled my cocktail glass with crushed ice and now it is very nicely chilled. All I need to do Strain my cocktail straight in, and that is a beautiful drink. Garnish on here, you could use a lemon. Right now, I have some beautiful um, mandarin oranges, which are really fresh and uh, really sweet and aromatic, and 
gonna add a really nice uh, aroma to this drink. And uh, I just like to accent those more of those orange Cointreau type flavors rather than that, the citrusy lemon. Just kind of brings a, a nicer balance to me. So there you have it. Classic sidecar. Enjoy it.